Let's talk about how to make your own herbal cough syrup, which is inexpensive and easy to make and really works. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, today I want to talk about how to make your own inexpensive herbal cough syrup that you can make at home. We'll probably have a lot of the ingredients in your kitchen and it really does work. You know, there's nothing worse than having a persistent cough. Uh, first of all, go to the doctor, you know, in the times we live in, that's important. If you still have just a cold or flu or something like that, and you have this persistent cough, you know, instead of buying a lot of these really expensive cough medicines in the in the drugstore, you can make something almost exactly the same and really does work, there's no doubt about it. And I make my own all the time and keep it in the fridge. And first of all, get yourself a nice little pan, you know, type of thing. And uh, uh, first of all, you're gonna get some ginger. And this happens to be galango root. You can use galango or ginger. They're kind of in the same family, very pungent, ginger-like tasting. And you wanna use about an inch piece of this and, or piece of ginger, inch piece, and cut that up. You don't have to peel it or anything. Just cut it up and throw it in the pan and <laughs> you're good to go. And it's very anti-inflammatory, helps to the cough and inflammation of the lungs is what's going on. So we wanna get rid of that. Also take some garlic and I like garlic a lot. So take two or three cloves of garlic out of a head of garlic like this and crush it up, put it into the pan and you're good to go there. Take a little bit of uh, pepper flakes, like a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, or cut up a small little red um, pepper and chop it up and throw it in there. You're gonna strain it out anyway, so it's not a big problem. And that also is antibacterial, good for the lungs, also you know, increases circulation in the body in general, so that's really good. Also take a, a lemon. This happens to be a lemon a friend brought over. They have some huge lemons on their farm. This is huge, I'm telling you. And they're sweet as sugar. And I want to take the zest of the lemon and the juice. And that helps with irritations of the lungs and really soothing and, and calming also. Also take a little cam chamomile. You can take some uh, chamomile if it's growing in your yard. And take about a a quarter ounce of uh, chamomile flowers and stems and put that in there or two or three capsules of chamomile and then uh, open those up and put it in there also. A little bit of anise seed, you can get that really inexpensively, usually in the spice section you can buy that and about an ounce of anise and throw that in into the pot and uh, you're going to actually get some other things also like mint leaves. I've got some mint here somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, mint. There's some mint there. And yeah, mint is one of my favorite things, actually. And really good for, you know, coughs and colds and that type of thing. I highly recommend it. Very soothing to the lungs. And that aroma is very good for healing also. Also, good old turmeric powder, which is really great. Really a wonderful thing. I take about a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon and put it in the pot, throw it in the pot also. Uh, also take a, an onion, a small onion, even smaller than this if you want, or just half of this onion, uh, if yellow, I don't care what kind of onion it is, purple, you know, onion, white onion, chop it up really finely, put that into the pot also. And it's very good for inflammation. It's an expectorant and an immune booster, all kinds of things. Another thing I recommend is getting some marshmallow root, 800 milligrams to 1200 milligrams. Take up the capsules and open them up, put that in there also. A little bit of black pepper is always good also. Black pepper is great. Uh, put in about a quarter teaspoon of that and it actually increases circulation, uh, soothes the lungs. Um, you can get about all these ingredients. Most of them you can get at the health food store for sure, and a lot of them at your supermarket, so it's not a big problem. Add four cups of water to your pot, four cups of water, and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. You just want to let it simmer until you get all those good 
goodies out of those uh, things like the onion and garlic and the, uh, the uh, leaves. Also, you can add in things like <clears throat> good old mint, uh, mint leaves like I talked about also, but lemon leaves and orange leaves, those are very good for the, the lungs also. You can throw a couple of those in if you like. And also the lemon leaves are very relaxing and help you to sleep better too. And that's one of the problems of having a cold or, or flu, that type of thing. Then you're going to add, let it actually cool down a little bit and put it through a strainer. And you're going to add a bunch of honey. You're going to put in about one cup of honey here. So this is organic honey, which we get it from an organic uh, beekeeper and really does a great job. And that is very soothing, relaxing. You know, every cough drop you've ever seen has honey in it. <laughs> really good for uh, just soothing the parenchyma, the whole te texture of the lungs itself. And really good. You can also throw in a little bit of mint oil, just a, a drop or two of mint oil, cinnamon oil, uh, any kind of oil that you'd like that you want to put a little drop or two in, and that will help to open up your lungs. Most of these oils are really great for uh, the lungs and lots of antioxidants in them, so really good. And that's about it. And all you do is put that into a, a glass jar, pour this into a glass jar, put it into the fridge. You could also, if you want it to last longer, you know, put in a thousand milligrams of vitamin C powder in there, mix that in before you actually simmer it. And that will keep it for a long, long time, tell you the truth. And that's really good. And this you can take just about as much as you like. There's really no, you know, you could take four or five times a day whenever you have a cough coming on uh, or, you know, a fit of coughing, you can take some. It tastes good on the average also. I mean, it depends on what you're putting in there. But on the average, you get more of the honey flavor than anything else, and people love it. And it, it costs you very little, and you really do feel good. So I highly recommend it. Also, if you want to get a hold of me, feel free. My phone number is 831-869-9119. Let's do a consultation, get you on the road to healing. I asked for a $50 donation, and that gives you about three months worth of support from me to get you on a road to healing. You know, we heal MS, diabetes. I have a lady right now had a really high blood sugar. Now we got her all the way down to one, 101 today or 102, I can't remember. So we're headed towards the 80s and we're really doing good. Arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, all these different things. Let's get rid of them. You don't need them. Let's get rid of your chronic diseases. And uh, so make it a Christmas present to yourself and you can really feel good. Also remember my new book, Live a Cancer-Free Life. You know, three out of five people moving towards four out of five people are coming down with disease. And that's not good. Well, cancer is terrible and you know, it's much easier to prevent than it is to uh, try to heal it. There's no doubt about that. And we can lower your chances of coming down with cancer. Just talking with a man yesterday with had colon cancer and much easier to prevent than it is to heal. So uh, let's get on that and read my book and things will be better for sure. So also, I please, I appreciate you putting a like up there and also subscribing. I would love, love to see a lot more subscribers and tell other people if you like what I do, and I'll tell all your friends, and I appreciate that a lot, and a couple other things. Remember God, and remember, I love you.